so where so what is being stored is what comes back to them so you store something bad and you can't expect something good back right so that is what is happening to the people so what happens is they come back as karma or karma and then they complain oh my god this is happening to me this is happening to me this has happened to me right so it's no point in complaining because this is what you stored in in the past so this is coming back to you so what you can do is try to avoid it try to create an energy field around you right try to create an atmosphere around you so that you can minimize the effects you can't eliminate everything even bhugalat uh, maharatan once got beaten after becoming arihatun mahansi he got beaten to death so there are certain things that will come back that you cannot stop but to a certain level you can you know manage those disturbances and uh, the 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 calm so what you can do is uh, as long as you walk the path and making sure you're focusing on what you're supposed to focus you can uh, avoid most of them uh, for example when one becomes sota pan he avoids all the all the uh, karma to do with uh, satara apagat karma as in if he was to go to the four hells whatever he was supposed to get vanishes so those are called ahosi karma so they become ahosi ahosi is they uh, they vanish they uh, become null and void so that you can do so uh, if you get to a if you make sure you go to a brahma thala or a brahma plane so you can avoid whatever you were supposed to get by becoming a human so th- there are certain ways of eliminating those things so those are things those are techniques that you can use to um, move forward so that was what we discussed in the last uh, episode 13 so now let's move on to episode 14 so this episode 14 is also different but it's not uh, to do with science but this is very important because it's to do with nirukti we talk about nirukti um nirukti is something arthe nirne vanne arthe is the meaning so when you talk about a word we always break it down try to get the inner meaning of a word so there is a reason for that in the tripitika they have said you have to take the inner meaning of a word to understand the real meaning <clears throat> also they have uh, said so many things about the nirukti and who can understand uh, nirukti and who cannot understand nirukti let's uh, look at the uh, examples so there is a nyaya and there is a, a jnana jnana is a, like a wisdom that only a noble person would have that is called the artha dharma nirukti patibana jnana so there is something called the artha dharma nirukti patibana so artha is the meaning the dharma is dharma is anicca dukkha anatta is dharma right nirukti is uh, the inner meaning of a word and patibana is pati is uh, the bond patibana is get uh, getting rid of the bond so they have the idea they have the the understanding of how to get rid of the the bonds so that is uh, those are the four jnana that a uh, a noble person would possess right this nirukti jnana or the the nirukti wisdom is something that only a noble person would have so it is so a mundane person would not have it so a mundane person would not understand a mundane person might even argue saying oh that cannot be right because in the tripitaka itself it says a mundane person cannot understand anirukti right 